What is going on, you good looking people? My name is Mr. J. And I think welcome to another Lego review. Where, yeah, I know I don't do these quite often because, well, yeah, it, it's all about viewership and apparently, and also it's also awesome with my interest. So, uh, yeah, I do kind of like building Lego, so I will be doing a video comparing uh, these two compared to uh, another universe. So, yeah, as you can see by the title, I am doing a DC uh, Lego set of the of the bat of the Batman mech. Versus a poison ivy mech, which it's not really a mech, it's just a poison ivy plant or per plant, which you can make. And it's like if you guys have seen like, any Batman comic where, where he fights poison ivy, yeah, it's just the plant. Another plant, which I, I guess I could kind of see why they didn't actually make this bigger, like a natural, like full fledged, I think, like Venus flytrap plant, which is, which is what's actually seen in the Batman cartoon. But uh, yeah. Now before I actually continue along, along with the video, uh, I know a lot of people haven't actually been watching my toy reviews, so uh, yeah. It, if I don't continuously get a lot of views on my toy reviews, I, I won't actually, I'll, I'll completely just stop doing toy reviews. Because uh, yeah, viewership really means something to me, like, means something to who's actually interested. But uh, yeah, it's also important for you, it's also important if you guys just watch the video and also check in the description because I do leave important information down there like if you want to actually contact me or or want to know what my next video is going to be so yeah if there's more link down there I do have I did set up a fan twitter I know it's, I, I know I just started twitter so uh yeah in, in the twitter link down in the description below I will actually just, like show you a whole bunch of stuff like I, like for the first fifty that actually follow me on Twitter or have someone that follow me on Twitter, uh, I'll, I'll actually reveal like certain things that I want to actually say on camera. So uh, yeah, f feel free to fo follow me down, follow me on Twitter. But uh, yeah, again going back to the box itself, and uh, yeah, I know I'm actually kind of doing it in daylight, so uh, yeah, there might be backlight. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys can actually see this. But yeah, you do have Poison Ivy, Firefly, The Flash, and Batman. Now, obviously, every Batman say you do get a Batman figurine, or minifig, minifigure. But yeah, you can see Flash. Now, I don't recall Flash ever actually doing this, like, orange fire blast. I'm pretty sure it's more like yellow, more like the same color as his lightning leg here. But, uh, yeah. I guess Lego had to do something where he did the, the lightning throw. Which I guess this is probably it. Yeah, again, as you hear, I've already built the set. But you come on to the back. You can see there is a net thing right here. Now, I I don't have the net anymore. I kind of lost it somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you exactly where the net goes. But uh, yeah, you have Firefly. And Firefly up top, she's getting caught by Batman. And you also do have Poison Ivy down here. But uh, yeah, these are the two villains. And you have Flash, which you can see. Obviously, with this set, you do have the the different faces now. If you do get like certain movie line sets, they they want to actually Lego one actually produce one with with two faces on them, like one like happy, one angry, or for example, Batman one one neutral and one, one with bat smirk. But uh, yeah, you do have a firefly here. You do have all the effects down here, and you got the net launcher, which this is basically how it works. You're supposed to actually the package doesn't show, tell you just. Tell you to just shove it in. It won't actually open up. Now, yeah, I'll, I'll get more into that. But uh, yeah, I've already built this. So uh, yeah, again, if this package just came out before the Batman like 80th anniversary. So uh, yeah, if you do see those in store, yeah, this is not part of the line. So uh, yeah, and we do have different languages. If you do want to pause it, I guess backwards my viewfinder. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that's gonna be it. So uh, l let's get to the Lego build itself. Okay guys, so here we had the set already there because yeah. I know you guys have actually been watching my uh, Lego reviews, but I, I, I will be building before I actually show you the actual box itself. Just kind of actually ensure my statements are right. Now uh, yeah, I do have this these in this dynamics and well, obviously I don't have IV firing. And uh, yeah, basically, uh, but basically, you do have these. I mean, you really can't like extend this up because obviously it's gonna like fall back because uh this is hit or fall forward. 
so this is heavier, so you kind of have to do balance. Uh, and uh, yeah, Batman McNam. I will say though that this is my first actual DC set that I built, DC Lego set. Now DC Lego set, they're a lot straightforward, they're much more straightforward, and the parts, the actual Lego pieces, are actually in the correct bag. Now we'll be doing a whole the whole like discussion on this why which Lego set I actually like better. Marvel or DC. Now I'm not talking about the actual comic itself. I'm just talking about the build set. So if you do, if you are a fan of both, and you do want to actually get a Lego set, it's it's up to you. But my preference is the DC Lego sets because you do have more the structures, the structures with the pieces, the pieces that are in a certain set. Pieces that are in the current step, step section of the step booklet, they're all in a corresponding bag, which is what, what I'll get in a little bit. Like, or hold on, I'll, I'll get. Let me explain. Now, for for example, like it, I don't know if you guys have built this, built a Lego set before, but it, but if you have it, uh, the bags are labeled like one, two, three, or more. It just it runs a lot more pieces, or the the build is kind of bigger. But uh, yeah, like for example, this Batman one, it's I think bag one, two, one, and two. And pieces are just in bag one and two, so you don't have to go digging through other bags. Like like the packaging, the packaging for, or the packaging machine that, that loads all the pieces for, that are supposed to be in bag one and two, they just go in the bag one and two. So, so I mean, so I mean like, I think I've, I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure, one and two were actually just the bad guys, but uh, yeah. But anyways, you, you get a point. I mean, I mean, you, the stuff that's in just the villains, bag, they're just in the villains. I mean, obviously it makes sense because you won't see a black piece over a Batman piece, like this helmet thing. You won't see it over an Ivy's bag, Now you won't see a green thing over here because obviously Batman doesn't do green; it just has black and gray, which I do kind of have a thing discussion about because well. Black isn't a good thing. Actually, kind of be stealthy in the night. But uh, yeah, that that's just another thing. So uh, yeah, now l let's just start off with the villains. So uh, yeah, okay, guys. So here are yeah, the actual villains. So, well, five I decided to fall over. But yeah, for those of you guys who don't actually read DC Comics, Poison Ivy or Pamela Isley, or yeah, she changed into Ivy or something. She's a fan. She's a friend of uh, Harley Quinn. So yes. Yeah, her power is she can control plants. She has a floral kinesis or something. I, I don't know, but I don't know what the actual term is. It's just like she can talk to plants, she can command plants. So, yeah. Basically, she can make plants into actual animate or animals and all that stuff to attack. Which is. Which, yeah. Now. And a firefly. Firefly, he's basically just an old guy with a. Uh, the fire suit, not heat wave. He can fly. But he has a fire fire suit. Basically, he likes fire. But it's pretty much just like heat wave. But uh, yeah, he does. He is in a flight pose now. You do actually have to build the whole entire flight set, which obviously comes part like that. This is last enough. Now, if you don't actually want to, you can take out the fire effects and just have him walking around. But hey, firefly, he flies. But yeah, before I actually get the IV itself, I'm just gonna put her off in the back. Now, I guess you guys can probably see the how to defeat both of them at the same time. Well, yeah, because, well, he's fire, plants don't do well in fire, so, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. But, yeah, Firefly he does come with his actual, like, flamethrower to connect his backpack, which, instead of this, or if you just blow it back, he spins and burn. Yeah. Basically, you do the fire effects here, it's on his actual jetpack or rock. I don't know what you call that, but, uh, yeah, you do have this launch, his actual gun itself, well, demonetized, so just be kid-friendly, but yeah, you push this, and launches, I'm not gonna do it, because I don't want stuff to actually get lost here, because I don't, yeah. So, uh, you yeah, know, you have this whole fire blast thing now, obviously, yeah, Legos comes out, so, uh, yeah, fire blast, but, uh, yeah, oh, and I just broke it. Oops. But yeah, did I actually show you how 
it's actually built. It, this just goes into here, and uh, yeah, you do have the nozzle. But uh, yeah, so we just have that. So yeah, Firefly Yes, so obviously you do have this backpack attachment, which it does actually come off. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to break any more parts. But uh, yeah, again, if you if you did see my War Machine review of uh. Yeah, my war machine from Avengers Endgame. This is the same mold of the of Ant Man's helmet. But I guess Lego had they had to make similar products, but every product or every piece that's a different color it's, it gives a new product number. Yeah. Obviously when you take this off you do have the uh, uh Firefly's uh face. Now obviously it doesn't actually have a back one. I believe you don't really see Firefly's face that often because he's usually and it, like, come out, Miss Nice, Miss Nice, or something. He's got the this where he pronounced the S emphasis. But yeah, obviously, you're not supposed to put this. This is another fire piece. I just choose to put it back to kind of click for access. But yeah, fire effects. Yeah, you can make him look like he's flying. Yeah, just type this in. Yeah. Turn this guy off to the back. Now, obviously, Coming on to Ivy now. Obviously, this is kind of more heavy build. Well, second to Batman's build, the mech suit. But yeah, obviously it's not a mech because a mech suit would or a robot suit would actually be walking around. But again, Ivy can actually do that. She can create a mech suit with plants, control plants. This, I mean, obviously this looks kind of like anchored in the ground. So uh, yeah, she just stands there and fires. But uh, yeah, again. These are just a launcher for uh, this. Uh, well, I can't come to the parts, but uh, yeah, showing you this. Yeah, this is actually the gun part. So yeah, you just take this out. Oh. Showing you this actual flower part. But uh, yeah, if I can actually. Oh. Oh, I guess it doesn't want to come out. And I just broke this. Well, I guess it doesn't want to come out, so, uh... Yeah, basically, just a... Like a pea shooter. Not a pea shooter. But, uh, yeah. You basically just take these, load, load in this, and fires. Now, Ivy can take this and, and just run, because this is actually just a, uh... Gun and tell. Now, Ivy doesn't use gun. It uses a plant thing, so, uh, yeah. Just use this, and, uh... Yeah, this part is actually where you, uh... Put a yeah, character in, or like Flash or something, which I don't know if that's possible, because she's just a human with plant mouth. She doesn't have any fast reflexes. The only thing she has is just plant fluorokinesis or whatever. She has control of plants. Now the plants can only move as fast as she can react. So yeah, I don't, I don't think she can catch the Flash, because uh, yeah, that's the whole purpose. He's really fast, but uh, yeah. And up, obviously, it just pegs you in her, her butt. But, uh, yeah. Basically, you do have this, her face. I mean, you don't have to hold, get up, which... I guess she doesn't really went anywhere long to see because she's full plant. She can tell the actual poison ivy plant did not actually make her itch. But, uh, yeah. She does have this, but she also does have the angry face. And, uh, yeah. So basically, this is just like, you no. Know, now, it's actually quite hard to actually put this in. You basically gotta peg her butt in first. Nope, wrong way. Look at like she's actually sitting on this. There's actually no stand, which is what I thought. And just basically do it like that. And basically, this whole thing here. Oh, this. Ow. This is the thing that actually moves. So, uh, yeah, you just. Like that. Oh. Mm hmm And you basically do it like that. Oh. Come on. You basically just do it like this and basically just lean forward, which yeah, this is actually just, just a static display, kinda like that. 
But uh, yeah, again, yeah, again, that's, that's just it for the actual villains. So yeah, let, let's just move on to the heroes itself. And of course, coming on to the actual main selling point of this whole pack, it's the actual the Batman mech suit, which is just yeah. I don't remember seeing this in a Batman cartoon or whatever. Yes, I do watch Batman cartoons. But yeah, the whole purpose of this is for it's built to actually handle plants, saw blades and stuff, but uh yeah. Just in camera a little bit. But uh yeah, you do have this whole thing. Now obviously this is meant to actually stain up like that. Now as you can see Batman which I'll get to a little bit. But you do have these blasts, which I'm not going to fire again because, well, space and stuff. Now, the fingers, they are articulated like that. And again, you saw rotation, rotation, like that. Obviously, there is, like, like articulation. What's on a ratchet drum? Because, of the, yeah, all the weight is put on the actual legs itself. Come on to this. This is a net launcher, which is on the back. So, I guess Batman can uh, move this up. And, uh, yeah, basically just pushes this. Now, the structures actually don't tell you, they just tell you to just push it in. Well, what I recommend is kind of twisting the net around like, into a kind of a spiral, like pushing it in through the center and then wrapping it around your finger before pushing it in here. Kind of have it open up when it launches. I mean, yeah, if you do get to say it, you'll, you'll figure it out. Because I don't know that, I can't really demonstrate. But yeah, some of these are actually stickers itself. Yeah, all these are stickers look now. I don't know why uh, these are separate colors. I don't know why you could have all in the same color because yeah. Yeah, open this up. You do have Batman, the corresponding one, because I do have other Batman sets. But uh, yeah, he does actually stand and uh And basically, you just close up, basically like that. And basically, you do have Batman here, but uh, but but uh, yeah. Obviously, this is just a uh, one that's in a Lego Batman Family Matters or something. Except for you do have kind of textured design here, and of course, with every Batman set, you do have Batman. Now, obviously, on the actual uh, the parts guide and the back of every booklet, it says you only have one. Battering by again with the set some pieces they give you an extra set in case you lose one or in case it gets lost you do have an extra set now I have not lost a set but yeah you do actually get two battering so yeah two actually comes with it kind of makes sense Batman does sometimes actually pull out two batterings at the same time and like hooks it or chucks and I'm this back so I don't knock it over I guess well the saw is actually kind of heavier so it will eventually like turn like that, but uh, but uh, yeah, I currently have the face as a Batman, this is a neutral scowl face, but uh, yeah, this is the one that's used in Batman, uh, Fat Matters by Game. You can kind of use different hair, but yeah, I prefer clean shave Batman, but uh, yeah. The articulation of Lego is the exact same legs, arms, and uh, yeah. Now, obviously, you do have a cape now, which is packaged differently. It's packaged in a small little cardboard box, so you don't want to get this folded up. But again, yes, I will explain the mask. You can actually put this, well, you can't exactly use this on a flash, but I'll explain. The eyes are standard, but uh, yeah, the eyes are a little higher because, uh, yeah, the white for the natural eyes, and uh, yeah have kind of a smirk or something but uh yeah speaking of the actual another hero again bringing in the actual flash itself now again this one this is the exact same model if you do have the one with just red boots i guess it's supposed to be like the cw version because it also has the yellow boots and stuff but yeah do a nice fire blast which it is held here you do have an extra piece of the holding one of the head and hell thing, but uh, yeah, I believe it's all the same thing as all the fashion like the Lego games and stuff. But uh, yeah, I believe Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I don't know how much going with this, but he does have a nice actual Lego suit. 
But yeah, the difference between this and also if you take this off, you do have Barry Allen's face. But you have this determined face and this one is a smiling face. Jane Volt. But yeah, now obviously this one, this car was actually different from others because it's actually made out of rubber or like soft plastic. Yep, it's made out of rubber. So yeah, it is kind of pliable a little, but I don't recommend you crushing it. Now doing a, a comparison with the actual like, mask itself, you can kind of see the eyes are lower. So just to actually show you, now we do put on Batman mask, you see it's actually higher up. Now if you do put on a flash, this cow on a... On Batman, you, you will see the eyes actually do kind of, yeah, you, you'll see the eyes actually line up, so it, faces are standard, but, uh, yeah, this just looks creepy, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this back on, well, you know, the thing with rubber is that it kind of grips perfectly, so you don't have, but, uh, yeah, just let just know that, but uh, yeah, I kind of do like this because it's more of a standard one. Just kind of the only Batman figure that's actually clean shaven or actually has one with a current show or something. But yeah, you do have that. But uh, yeah, now again, overall, I can't fit everything in in one frame, so I'm just gonna actually leave this here and actually just close out the video. Now again. Check your local retail for the actual price itself. Again, prices may change depending on when you get this. But, uh, yeah, I do recommend actually getting this if you do want, like, the Flash. And there are other things that you can get on Amazon. And if you don't have, like, a credit card or something like you like me, you can go into a retail store and get us. This. this is currently stock, but I recommend you actually go in to your actual retail store because sometimes the online store may or may not even have it. Like listed as on stock, so uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I would like to reiterate that check the description of me though, there are important links on there, like even my Twitter. So, uh, yeah, again, rest for the subscribers, I'll do a surprise reveal. So, uh, yeah, and says so that's me, it for this review. If you have enjoyed this review, be sure to hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hit the subscribe if you choose to. Game description and stuff comment leave a comment down below i'll be sure to reply to as many as i possibly can or if i don't i'll leave a like just to let you know that you did see it but uh yeah now i forgot to mention uh this entire bill took me maybe two two or three hours to build now some other lego sets it will actually take longer now so, so far DC sets and I don't get DC movie sets because apparently Lego doesn't do that but this this the comics set this took me I was sort of two hours so it's fairly easy to build so uh, yeah I recommend you get your parents help or and I do recommend if you do have a Lego brick mover like, like, one, like one of these yeah I do recommend you use it because in case you can put a brick in the wall, please you can move it. But uh, yeah, no family. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you have, please sure to like but I'll uh, ran through that. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And fire pilot.